Hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode 32 of Film Empire. Now, I just finished, like literally uh, two minutes ago, I just finished the live stream on the Effects War where I recreated um, Hit Film Sensei's video. So, definitely go and check that out, and then we have to start the episode. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode 32 of Film Empire, and today I want to return in my sort of podcast um, series, and I want to talk with you guys about the VFX editing workflow. Now, I um, gathered some tips, and I'll tell you my workflow so that you guys can create um, the best VFX that you can, and um, I think we should jump right in after the intro. So, first off, I personally think that it's always best to start with planning out um, the shots that you want to have um, or like the video in general. Now I made a video um, about creating ideas for your videos and that will be put in the description below so definitely go check that out and um, yeah so first plan out your video and after you're done with that it's time to start making your script so that is the writing process now there definitely are great videos online um, also film empire um, Film Riot also made um, some great videos about writing and after you're done with writing now this is an optional step but for your VFX shots I always think it's nice to have a storyboard because VFX shots um, often require quite um, require quite some planning so I definitely think it's nice to have a storyboard so that you know how your visuals are going to be after you're done um, with that of course it's time to shoot your footage now after you're done with that I always start um, with coloring the footage so color grading but you could go with uh, something else as well um, and after your color grading is done take the shots that needs uh, to have the effects in there and start compositing so compositing is of course adding different effects onto your videos to or create a special effect or enhance your um, video footage so after coloring comes compositing and then editing many people first edit and then take like the whole video the completed video into their compositor my compositor of choice is of course hit film you guys knew that already and then they or they just add it on top of the entire video or they first have to find the right parts and cut the video and it's just such a tedious process save yourself that time start compositing and when you have your shot composited then start editing and after the editing um, it is time for audio mixing now I have the zoom h1 over here which I use for my external audio currently I am um, recording with the computer over there so therefore I have a desktop uh, microphone over here um, so then it is time for your audio mixing you can also do things with like your left and your right channel so I think that um, is your last step now then, um, I I gathered five tips for you guys for your um, for your VFX compositing. My first uh, step is review your footage like right after you shot it so um, not at the end of the day because then you might have to go back and reshoot things and that's also a tedious process save yourself that time uh, like immediately after you shot your footage um, check it check if everything is correct if you need to track stuff were your tracking markers in the shot um, was there something walking what something someone was there someone walking in the back of your shot because sometimes that actually can ruin the whole video the whole vibe of the video so I definitely think it is important um, to look at that and my second tip is to save presets now this can be exporting pre uh, like exporting presets um, 
but also in HitFilm you have 2D and 3D presets like some coloring setups or special gunfires. Save those presets so you can access them really quickly and that is very nice while, uh, while you're compositing. Now my third tip is be organized. Now my computer um, is a mess but for videos everything is organized. I have three main folders, uh, one for school, one which is for series um, videos, and then another one which is completely dedicated to Film Empire. In that folder I have my videos, thumbnails, um, finished videos, some folders for my episodes where I can import my clips, my audio, everything, and I even have a folder with my standard things like um, the name banner which you can see on here and of course also my intro and my outro and uh, things like that so um, yeah my fourth tip is use auto save how many times have my prob uh, have my programs crashed and then I lost all my work and I had to do everything again it's 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 not nice so just I personally have um, my autosave set on one minute. Every minute it makes an autosave file. Um, usually it overwrites the old files so that I only have one file instead of six million. Um, and that is really easy and it saves the time when your computer fails on you. Because computers are still technical things and technical things break, believe me. Tip number five is add motion blur to the moving components in your shots. How many times have I seen great visual effects but they forgot to add the blur or the motion blur or when something is more in the back you need first of all you need to color it correctly because things that are further away from us are more blue but they're also blurred so um, it, it, it just breaks the whole video that I think like why? Why did you have to uh, let that happen? So those were my five tips and my workflow. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave a like and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have other VFX tips that you want the other people to know. I love to read them and the other people um, that watch this video probably will too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hello everybody, I hope you liked the video. Now click the top box to see my newest video and click the box below to see a highlighted one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week Saturday with a new video.